Yo, what's going on internet? Today we are going to make a floating canvas like this one right here. I've had a lot of questions on how I make those floating canvases. It was actually a technique I learned from a friend, Andrew Huffman, and he showed me how to do it. And basically I love doing this technique mainly because it allows me to sort of have this space in between the wall and the canvas. So it has like this little gap in between and it feels like it's floating off the wall. So it has like this sort of uh, a different presence. So it hides a lot of imperfection that the wall is uneven. Sometimes maybe the canvas is a little warped, but because of that gap in between you can't really even tell and it just has this sort of floating feeling so it feels a little bit more uh like it's magical so let me give you a closer look at it right here basically you know it just has that gap in between but also when you have that gap in between it sits off the wall a little bit it casts a shadow um that i think is really cool as well um because like i said it feels like it's floating off the wall so we're going to do that today and i'm basically going to show you you know the type of wood that i get at home depot to uh actually do it you can get it at other lumber shops as well and these are the, the different types of wood and the extra canvas that i use uh to actually stretch on top of the actual wood panel Panel. So we're gonna do that today. So let's get started. First thing to do is actually go out to the lumber yard, Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever you get your wood and actually buy a couple pieces of specific uh, wood. I use the two by two by uh, one fourth inch birch plywood for the top surface like this right here. And then a two by two by eight and a one by three by eight. Actually, this and this are a little different because this is actually 1.5 inches by 1.5 inches by eight feet. Um, and this is three fourths inch by three inches by eight. Um, so there's a little difference between how it's labeled and sort of like what it actually is. So don't worry about that. Um, but that is what I get uh, to actually do the entire uh, wood panel canvas that we will stretch with this extra piece of canvas right here. So go out and get that and then we'll get to the next step. So the next step is actually cutting the wood and we're gonna cut the surface of the panel first. So we're gonna make a wood panel floating canvas that is actually one foot by one foot. And a side note, you wanna make sure when you're sort of cutting the uh, surface panel, you wanna make sure that you're picking a corner that you're gonna use that isn't chipped like this one right here, or else you just gotta do extra steps to actually uh, make it a smooth surface. So I'm gonna pick one of these corners over here, which is not chipped, and it doesn't have to be sort of super perfect because we're gonna wrap it with a canvas. It just, you know, you just wanna make sure it's not chipped, but aesthetically, you know, it can look like anything as long as it sort of is solid in the different corners. So this is a perfect one foot by one foot uh, panel surface that we're going to use uh, for our sort of floating canvas right here. And it looks really good. Each of the corners are sort of really intact. The next step is cutting the side of the canvas, which is going to be the two by two by eight. So now that we have all of these cuts, what we're going to do is just sort of place them around the canvas to act like the wall of the canvas. We're gonna make sure it's super flush around the edges. We're gonna make sure that uh, everything's sort of cut right. So we may have to actually go back to the actual saw and sort of cut it down just a little bit if the measurements are a little off and there's a sort of a little bit of a uh, overshoot on the edge. So that's what we're going to do. Now that we have the sides on there on the sort of flat surface, it's time to actually put the piece of wood that's going to make it sort of float a little bit, this one by three by eight. So I chopped it down just a little bit to be more manageable. So we're gonna do the 45 degree angle cut and actually inlay it inside of the actual size right here. So let's do that.
So hopefully you enjoyed that process, learning how to make a floating canvas, you know, with the spacing and everything. You saw the materials uh, that we were using. You saw the actual process. So it's really, really simple to actually make. And then stretching canvas on top of it, if you want to have a stretch canvas on top to sort of just the paint on the canvas, and then you can replace this whenever you want to. It's super easy. And this is the one foot by one foot. You can go bigger if you want to, but I just wanted to make sure that you saw the process and learn from it and so to take that into your own studio practice and create some of these of your own and see if you like it or not like i said having that space in between the wall and the actual main canvas piece with the sides of it you know having that at half inch off the wall for me gives it more of a you know a floating mysterious sort of an effect and it sort of really just attracts the eye for me a lot more so hopefully like i said you'll take this into your practice and try it out and let me know how you like it so I'll see you next time. Peace.